Uh, the Green Wolf asked me, what are the biggest mistakes you people, sorry, let me start that over. What are the biggest mistakes you see people new to homesteading or more experienced homesteaders making? And what do you recommend for solutions? Um, I'm pretty much going to focus on what I consider to be the biggest mistake. And I see it all over Tumblr all the time from, unfortunately, people who have never lived out on their own, people who have never had to pay their own bills. And that is um, committing to a completely sustainable off the grid or even partially off the grid or even buying a house that needs fix it ups without having any sort of background in the many different uh, skills that you need to have to run that efficiently and also without the financial resources. Uh, I think people don't realize that sustainable living is not um, something that is a privilege to those in poverty. I, I don't know how else to say it. It is not going to live with the peasants in the slums. Uh, sustainable living is uh, unfortunately for the most part for the uh, middle class and up in America. And that, I mean, it's shitty, but it's true. Um, you need to have money to have all the things that you need to live off grid. The startup costs are intensely expensive unless you plan on living in a tent or a camper or something like that. But most people who I see who want to be homesteaders want the beautiful uh, French countryside or the Wisconsin backwoods or whatever with the, with the nice log cabin and the little pond and all the goats and the llamas and the chickens. Um, and those things are expensive to start up and, you know, just like having a dog or a cat, having even small animals, uh, it's, an, it's an expense and you need to be able to have cash coming in to do that. I mean, you can't just buy baby chicks and then grow some corn and feed it to them. Not only is that not healthy, but also the timeline just doesn't work. Um, there's a lot of mechanics that go into running an efficient homestead and as you can see, I live in a house. I cook food that I typically buy from a grocery store. While I'm very interested in homesteading, I am very much an amateur at homesteading too. I grew up on a farmette. My parents owned a home that was manufactured by, I'm sure, some sort of building company. They bought it from the bank. Um, my mother is moving towards being more sustainable, but do I think that she'll ever completely live off the grid and live off the land? Absolutely not. She doesn't have the funding or the resources to do that. Um, I think that if you are legitimately interested in homesteading, if you are legitimately interested in um, farming and living off the land, that you need to educate yourself and realize that it is not just about uh, loving nature and it's not just about liking to have, like, liking chickens, that it is a very time intensive and very slow payout life. Um, you need to know how to do plumbing, electric, carpentry. You need to know how to take care of sick animals. You need to know about vaccinations. You need to be okay with dead animal carcasses. You need to be okay with probably burning or burying or composting those dead animal carcasses. Uh, you need to know about disease uh, among small and large animals. I mean, you need to know if you're going to use solar power or thermal or I mean whatever you're going to use, windmills, who the hell knows. Um, there is just years of uh, learning and education that you need before you decide that you and all your witch buddies are going to go uh, live on a commune somewhere. I have had the pleasure, and I say pleasure sarcastically, of being invited to a um, intentional pagan community, I guess you would call it. It was essentially set up as a, a non-profit. It was a Wiccan church and it is based uh, off the land. So um, in the 10 or 15 years that they have existed, most of them have lived in tents or campers. There is no running water. There is, they may have a bathroom now, I don't know. They have had buildings that they have built by hand over the course of several years, burned to the ground overnight. Um, they have dug a root cellar, but that's about all they have on all this acreage of land. It is not a glamorous life. It is not a beautiful life. It is not, you know, at least for the first five or ten years, it is very difficult. It is very expensive. And it, it's, unless that is truly what you want to, I mean, if you can see yourself at 80 years old working off the land and, and you have the education, then, you know, do it. But, um, I just, it's very frustrating to see the number of people who are, uh, making very risky moves <laughs> in terms of homesteading with very little knowledge. And it's not good for them. It's not good for the animals. It's not good for the land. And that's, it's just, it's very frustrating. Um, 
there are a lot of folk schools that are, I'm trying to think of ways to like help you. Um, there are a lot of folk schools that are opening up and, and those can be a little bit pricey, but if you have the money for that sort of education, I would recommend taking classes there. Um, there are certainly many books written about homesteading, uh, both works of fiction and nonfiction, uh, historical fiction, and um, how-to guides and things like that. But I, what I recommend more than anything else is to find people who are starting to do it successfully, who um, maybe can just teach you a few things, whether it's like preserving and, and canning, or they have raised uh, cattle before, or they um, they own a, a house that is running off of an alternative fuel source, something like that. Um, finding those people who have truly done it and are not going to give you the sugar-coated version, but the true difficult the reality of the situation those are the people that you, that you want to be talking to and sorry to be a Debbie Downer about home setting but it just really makes me angry when I see all this like I'm 19 and I just got a loan for this little hut out in the woods and I'm like you're gonna die and I don't want you to die just get an apartment be way better off so sorry <laughs>